All right, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our AEM log software. Now our AEM log software is going to be where we play back the data logs we've captured in our AEM Pro software. So if we're going in and working with our PC log or onboard log, that captured data needs to be reviewed in our AEM log software. So we're gonna be able to plot graphically all the information that we've captured and we can make sense of what's going on. So whether we're gonna be doing our tuning process or we're gonna be diagnosing a problem, we're gonna be using our AEM log software pretty extensively. It's gonna be part of the workflow as we're going in and tuning with our AEM Pro software. So I'm gonna be showing you the basics in this video of our AEM log software so you can get familiar with it so you can start using it in your tuning process. So without further wait, let's jump in the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our AEM log software to review our data logs. Now in a previous video, we learned how to capture our data logs with our PC logging option, as well as our internal logging option. So now we're gonna be ready to open them up in our AEM log software and learn the basics of the software so we begin learning how to read our data logs. So the first step here is gonna be moving into file open. So we can go here, open a data file. We're gonna go in into our folder that we've created and saved our logs into. We find we have our onboard log here. It's saved by the day, the month, the year, and then the actual uh, file in the order of we're saving them, we can see 000, that's going to be indicating that we're uh, at our first file. The next subsequent file that's going to be saved is 001, and on and on as we keep saving more files from our onboard logger. We also find this test log, this is going to be the PC log that we went in and saved, so we can go here and choose either or. Let's just go and choose our onboard log. Now, depending on what we want to see, um, and, and, and when we're evaluating a data log, uh, we're going to be selecting the log that's going to have the parameters of the channels that we want to review. So that's going to be something else to kind of keep in mind. You are able to take a PC log and an onboard log at the same time for, let's say, a dyno pool. And you would have two logs opened, and you might be capturing completely different data sets um, to review in your AEM log. So just be mindful of which one you select. We'll just choose our onboard here. I'll click open right now. And now we're going to be greeted with the first prompt that we have to uh, go in and work with here in order to make our uh, graphical plotting of our data. So we can see number of plots. We have a choice between one, two, or three, and that's gonna be allowing us to have one, two, or three windows open here that's gonna be displaying our data. So if we use one, we're gonna find plot one, it's just going to have engine speed. And then if we have two plots, so we're gonna have two windows open here, we'll have option two, we'll have plot one, and plot two, so engine speed and engine load. And then we can do three, and we can have engine speed, engine load, and O2 sense number one, or the O2 number one, which is our wideband input. Uh, we're able to display all of this. So click three right now and just click draw. And we can see the data is gonna be plotted here graphically. Now looking at our window, we're gonna find that we have down at the bottom here, our time stamping. So the data log starts at zero time. 